Hey friends, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I hope you enjoy it. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my July favorites. Everything from hair care, skincare, entertainment, couple shows, couple clothing pieces. I test out and review a ton of products on screen and off screen, and I just wanted to make a sit down dedicated video to show you what I'm truly loving at this moment in time. Everything that I am talking about today will be linked in the description box down below. Some of those links may be affiliated links which means I earn a small commission if you choose to purchase through them however you will not get charged more if you do so but without further ado subscribe if you're new and let's get started we are back with some bubbly can't say it's my favorite thing we've ever had but it does the trick Starting off with everyone's favorite category, which is hair care. So recently, I have found a solid shampoo and conditioner line that I'm actually a fan of. I've never really had an issue with solid shampoo bars. That makes sense, right? Like you're used to a soap bar sudsing up. So I feel like a shampoo bar isn't that far off from that same concept. However, I've always had a tough time getting behind the idea of a solid conditioner bar because I just... I just didn't really have much faith until I found these guys. Recently, I have been loving the Heal Tea Rice Water Shampoo and Conditioner Bars in the Scent Peppermint. They are silicone free, 100% organic, vegan, paraben free, and cruelty free. And the biggest reason that I love these shampoo and conditioner bars is because they perform like regular shampoo and conditioner in terms of consistency, how they work, how they clean your hair, how they feel when you use them. But they are more sustainable and plastic free and better for the environment. I also love that you can find these shampoo and conditioner bars on Amazon, although Amazon is not the most sustainable platform and a lot of people use it and so I feel like if you can find a more sustainable swap on Amazon you're doing a little bit of good for the planet along the way so recently I've just been using those shampoo and conditioner bars and honestly nothing else because it has been so hot here in Portland Oregon but if I do use something else for my hair I have been loving the inky list hyaluronic acid hydrating hair treatment it is a frizz control serum for all hair types love using this product in the summertime because it helps my frizz stay tame and calm like a traditional hair oil would but it doesn't weigh my hair down like a hair oil would I'm happy to announce that I have found my perfect dry shampoo and I'm really excited to share it with all of you this is the chlorine dry shampoo with oat milk and it's great for all hair types I originally purchased the dark hair version of this dry shampoo and it was fantastic loved it what I love about this particular dry shampoo is a it does not leave a trace in terms of color and B it does not leave a trace in terms of feel in your hair. I totally just dropped it. Moving on to skincare, I recently shared in my reset routine that I'm working on repairing my moisture barrier. It turns out I was exfoliating my skin three times a day. So... I've been working on repairing my moisture barrier for about a month now, and I have seen some changes in my skin. So here's what my skin looked like about a month ago. As you can see, it was a lot more red, and I had a lot bigger, more angry pimples, and a lot more texture on my forehead. And now my main skin concern is more of the texture and the small, rough bumps all around my face. I am gonna be seeing a dermatologist soon to help me speed up this process, but this is what I've been loving and using at home. This is a face wash that I've been using for the past month that I have absolutely fallen in love with. This is the Aveeno Common Restore Nourishing Oat Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. It is fragrance free, gently cleanses and hydrates to preserve the skin's moisture barrier, which is exactly what I'm looking for. When I was diving into what products I was using when I damaged my moisture barrier, I realized that the cleanser that I was using was filled with essential oils, which if you know anything about skincare, you know that that is a big, big no-no in terms of letting your skin calm down. Adding fragrance and especially essential oils can really sensitize the skin. This cleanser does an amazing job at allowing my skin to feel normal and balanced again after cleansing. I hate that feeling when you're cleansing your skin and after you're done, your skin just feels really tight and dry and like it's begging for moisture. This cleanser just allows my skin to feel happy and healthy at the end of the cleansing process. Speaking of cleansers, I actually left my double cleanser at my friend's house. So I don't have it right now, but I'll insert some footage here. This is a Pharmacy Clearly Clean Cleansing Balm. It is the fragrance-free version of their most popular cleansing balm. I use this cleansing balm 
to A, take off my makeup, but B, to take off my sunscreen at the end of the day. I wear a lot of sunscreen, a lot of layers. I will grab about a quarter size amount in my palms, warm it up, rub it all over my face, let it sit for about a minute, and then I will rinse off the cleansing balm and go in with the Aveeno cleanser that I just talked about. The combination of the two just lets my skin feel happy, clean, healthy and hydrated, which is what I'm all about right now. Speaking of sunscreen, I have been loving the Supergroup Hand Screen SPF 40. This is a clean chemical sunscreen. It's reef safe, non-irritating, does not have any synthetic fragrance. It's vegan and cruelty free. While you can totally just use your normal sunscreen on the back of your hands, I just love having this in my purse and in my car. I love applying this sunscreen like this on the back of my hands before I go driving, before I go on a walk outside or even if I'm just sitting around at my apartment because I feel like the hands get neglected a lot in terms of skincare and your hands, neck and chest are some of the biggest places where you can see early aging. And I also have a really dope hand tattoo that I wanna prevent from aging and fading. And this little guy has just made it super easy to reapply sunscreen on the go. Last but not least for skincare, I have yet another TikTok recommendation that has changed the game for me. This is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5 Soothing Therapeutic Multi-Purpose Cream. This dimethicone skin protectant temporarily protects and helps relieve chapped, cracked, and shaped skin. Fun fact about me, although I do live in Portland, Oregon, I really love to surf at the Oregon coast. While surfing is the best thing in the world, it can do a ton of damage to your skin and hair. I am already trying to repair my moisture barrier due to over exfoliation, so I try to give my skin as much nourishment as I can before I get into the water. So what I've been doing recently is I've been applying a thick layer of this before I get into the water to my face ears and neck and then applying sunscreen over it. This does leave a slight white cast on my skin because it is so thick and it is a little hard to spread so definitely keep that in mind if you're more of a medium or deep skin tone. Okay friends, last couple things I did want to mention are some clothing pieces. I have found my perfect tank top for summer 2022. I'm obsessed with these tank tops from Ariat. They are the perfect crop on me and I love the little clasps that they have in the front. I wore these tank tops when I went to France pretty much every Every single day and I still wear these pretty much every single day I just love how they fit they look great with no bra and they are just my new go-to so in terms of entertainment and shows my favorite show recently has been pretty little wires which is a huge throwback I know I started watching that show when it first came out and I think I was like 12 years old and I honestly never finished it because it just kept going for so long. So right now I am on season two. I am determined to find out the ending and see who A is. So please don't spoil it for me. I am really excited. This has been about 12 year, a 12 year mystery for me. So pretty stoked to finally put this chapter of my life to rest. <laughs> All right, friends, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you've been loving for the month of July and if I should keep making these videos on a monthly basis. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe for more content like this. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next week. Hello, I am setting up to film right now and I just wanted to document something that I have to deal with on a regular basis in the best way possible. So, I don't know if you can see right in there, there's some little kitten paws. One of my cats loves to find his way under the covers or any sort of blanket and he becomes a blanket boy. This one's ghosty in case you're new here. Ouchie. Ouchie! And he just needs to go up underneath and get all warm. Hello! You want to be in my video? But it's a July favorites and you're one of my favorites. <laughs>